gig where um, everything is working correctly. Your sound people, your crew, you know, your, all your equipment is running properly. And the crowd is amazing. And feeling the whole vibe. Right, that's what I was saying. Perfect gig. I wouldn't sell any of them. But if I have to, uh, I would sell one of the more newer ones because the older ones are more vintage and they would, the, the price would be more higher than, you know, than the other ones. If I had to do that. But I don't think I would do that. Nah. do that, Quincy Jones, because he done worked with some of everybody and wrote so many songs that it was, uh, was mind-blowing, if I could do that, but I would rather stay me, you know. All time favorite album, it's the Dave Rivers Project. What can I say? <laughs> I would have went to law school. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I lost my innocence and had to realize how the business really worked, that was uh, really weird. How so? Um, some people want you to sell your soul. I'm not with that. My heroes? Well, my mother and my father. You know, the main heroes. Because if I'd done that, I would've never got to play music. Are you your first instrument? Yes. You know, and as, and as, a, as a young child, uh, teenager, uh, so forth, uh, they managed us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Travel on the road and stuff like that there. So my you know, parents was really involved back then in those days. My most recent big mistake. Mm -hmm. I made a lot of big mistakes. <laughs> My most recent big mistake. Uh, I can't answer that one. That's a rough one. Next question. <laughs> yes, to uh, move forth with Universal Rhythms, the group, and to like do a whole lot of string concerts and, and build up a big uh, following and let's just blow it up, man, and make it fun. That's it. Oh, the phone cave. The phone cave is where the musicians come to achieve the feeling so far deep in. Cave is a studio where uh, the musicians can come to get funky. You know what I mean? To lay down the compositions in a, in a funky way. We do it to your ear hole at the funk cave. Well, first of all, Universal Rhythms is a group of musicians of different nationalities. Uh, also, Amazing skills, man. Each and every one of them. You know? So let me start with uh, Walter Runge 
on keyboards. Um, this guy is off the chain with his ability of composing and arranging, writing all different kinds of uh, uh, music, uh, charts, he, you know, the whole thing for, for the group and stuff like that. Then um, uh, he teaches also, you know, the youngsters, and that's a good thing also. And uh, moving on to the guitar, um, my brother Jeffrey Rivers is a great player, man. One of the best I ever played with in my life. Not because he's my brother, because he had great tone. He can do rhythm and lead. He can also sing, you know. And uh, his performance is phenomenal. You know what I mean? And um, moving on to the drums. On drums, Mr. Carl Palmer. This guy, man, he is amazing. You know, wait till you hear this young man. You know, um, I had the opportunity of meeting him a few years back. Uh, we did a few shows together and what have you, and uh, he just blew me away. I know I gotta get this guy, man, one day in a, on a project, you know, and called him. He was ready, man, and he was there, and we have him. You know, and he is one of the great guys that's going to be like, he's really going to go places. Believe me, watch. You know, and sax. We use Carl Dean on saxophone. This guy is like, uh, he's into like a Wayne Shorter type vibe, you know what I mean? You know, he's very uh, jazz oriented, you know, um, Afro Cuban rhythm type thing. You know, but uh, he used a soprano sax, tenor sax, and uh, this guy is great. So I guarantee you, if and when you check this out, you're going to really enjoy yourselves. You know what I mean? It's going to be an experience that you'll speak about for days to come. Universal Rhythms. And I'm Dave Rivers, and I'm on bass. We're going to be right there for you soon. You dig?